20 now from the red carpet hits and misses to the show's most memorable moments. The 92nd Academy Awards are officially in the history books. Hey. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier joins us live to break down last night's Oscars. Good morning, Kay Frazier. What a show. Good morning, good morning. Right off the bat, can we talk? Yeah. Have you seen Parasite? <laughs> I have no. not no. seen it yet. All three of you have seen Parasite. No, no not yet. I, I was okay. going to go yeah, see it a couple weeks ago, but it was after the show, and I was very sleepy, and I was like, I can't read words. I can't do it after <laughs> the show. Can't do it. And, and that is the deal. Look, Parasite was the big winner last night at the Oscars, and it made history as the first yeah. foreign language film to take home the best picture. But here's the thing. It's earned about $35 million at the box office. Wow. That's not a lot when you compare it to movies right. like yeah. Joker or 1917 yeah. um, or even Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But it is a really good movie. If you have the focus to read for two hours, <laughs> right. I talked to the director, um, Bong Joon Ho, on the, um, on the red carpet, and I asked him, How in the world did you dream this up, bruh? <laughs> like what that. is going on in your mind to come up with a movie like that? Because it is original, it is oh, interesting, yeah. it's also crazy as hell. Because I'm weirdo. <laughs> I thought so. I could tell. <laughs> First of all, you see he understands English, right? Yes. Yeah. I, and he said himself, I'm a weirdo. But here's the good news, guys. HBO is going to adapt the movie oh. and Americanize it into a mini series. So okay. that is coming up. Adam McKay will direct. So if you didn't get to the movies, it's okay because you'll get to see it mm -hmm. in, okay. um, on HBO eventually. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the good news. Can we talk about Brad Pitt now? Yes. Please. What a run it's been for Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, oh, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, go ahead. Get your Brad Pitt out. I understand. <laughs> I understand that moment. But just breathe in deeply. Yes, please. I know. Um, yeah, he kissed Sharon Osbourne last night, and she lost her mind. But what I want to say is that, you know what? It was cool to see him win, and I talked to him exclusively on the carpet. Here you go. What does this night mean and what it could be in the excitement of tonight? Um, it is that it's our, you know, it's our highest honor, and it's exciting. You know, it's a long, it's a, it's a long run. So uh, it's exciting to get to the end. It's exciting to, for it to be the, the biggest of the biggest, and it'll be exciting to, you know, get back to work again. To all the wonderful people I've met along the way, to stand here now, once upon a time in Hollywood. I think that's the truth. <laughs> I love that moment. Yeah. And, you know, I love that he has that Oscar. And also, kudos to Brad and his Plan B production company. They do some of the most diverse work in Hollywood. That's how he won his first Oscar as a producer of 12, year, 12 Years a Slave. Mm. And speaking of diversity, um, there was a lot of talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. there were a lot of diverse people on the stage as performers and um, as presenters, but not as nominees. Right. But there was one cool moment. The animated short hair love won. Oh. And um, Matthew Cherry, yes, 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 former NFL player. Yeah. He becomes the second professional athlete to win, and um, we caught up with him afterwards. Yeah. It wasn't lost on us that you won the same category that Kobe Bryant won two years ago. Did that sit with you? Yeah, yeah, no, I was thinking about it all the time. You know, I mean, um, you know, he shouted us out uh, when we got nominated. Um, obviously, he won two years ago. He was the first former athlete. Now I'm the second um, to win an Oscar. So it's just, it's insane. I mean, um, it's such a tragedy, and all we can do is uh, try to continue his legacy and hopefully um, inspire more people that they can have more than one career. And if you remember, the hashtag girl dad was yeah. trending um, right after Kobe passed away. And hair love is about dads being right. able to do their daughter's hair, mm -hmm. learning to do their daughter's hair. So that's what makes it special. Also, they walked the carpet with the young man, DeAndre Arnold from Texas, who was told he couldn't graduate, mm. he couldn't yeah. walk in graduation at his high school unless he cut his um, locks off. It was cool. That was the one person I took a picture with. And I was like, boy, do not cut your locks no matter yeah. what you do. Exactly. Go get your diploma and uh -huh. let that hair. Let it flow. <laughs> Throw it around, bro. Um, absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. We also we loved your uh, red carpet look as well, my friend. Yes, that color. That color was Fabulous. fantastic. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I wish I could say I went to the store and got it, but I mean, look, it's the ladies <laughs> in the wardrobe department who are <laughs> magical. But um, yeah, I, I did enjoy it. By the way, real quick. Yes. 
Did you like the fact that there weren't, wasn't a host? Yes or no? As a professional TV host, I am very upset there was no host. There you go. I mean, that's. I was fine with it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Not that they're offering As a that professional gig. TV host, yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like yeah. it. I, I thought they needed a host. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think they need to go back to having a host. I'm available next year. Yeah. Kevin, thank saying. you so much. Go take a nap. I yeah. know you've been up 24-7, well man. Oh, that was good stuff. Oh, you're amazing. Always so much fun hanging with y'all. Thank you, you so too. much. Thanks, Kevin.